Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about most used dictionary methods and dictionary comprehension. Now comes the new method which is particularly used for dictionary data type. We know very well inside a dictionary variable, every pair will be saved as key and value. But we will be in a scenario like I want to see list of all the keys or I want to see list of all the values In sometimes I want to see the list of all key and values based on your requirement you have to choose any one of this method in the first example same dictionary variable my details I want to display all the keys which is available in this particular dictionary variable you know what are all the keys name age address and phone number we'll try to print it print my details dot tab it choose the keys just run it this will display all the available keys inside a dictionary we have four keys the next method I just want to see what are the list of available values inside a dictionary variable same way dictionary variable dot values run it this will display list of values available in the dictionary variable we know 31 Chennai and the mobile number in some cases I want to display both the key and also value in this example we have a variable cube and uh, contains the cube of each number let us display each key value pair print cube dot tab items just run it it will display both key and uh, value at the same time based on our requirement we have to use whether key or value or items the next method is copy method for example we will be in a scenario like we don't want to make any changes to the existing dictionary variable at that time what we have to do we have to take the copy of the existing dictionary variable and do the manipulation as per our requirement how to do that it's very easy cube dot copy this will create a copy now we have to save this to a new variable right then only we can do the modification created a copy dictionary copy this variable will contains the copy of cube just printing the original and also new copy running it you can see this is the original and this is the copy of dictionary variable to this particular dictionary variable we can do any manipulation and this original will not be affected the next method is update method we already learned how to update a particular value by mentioning within the square bracket this is a common way which is used across all the data type but for dictionary data type we have an additional method this method inserts the specified item to a dictionary at the end if the value is not present so you, when you try to add a new value this will be added at the end when you try to add an existing value what will happen obviously it will update it let's see how to do it we created a dictionary variable car inside that we have three pair values brand is Audi car model a7 year is 2019 now to this particular dictionary variable I am going to add a new pair the variable name car dot update inside this it is a dictionary variable so curly braces color colon color is key and the value is white just run it you can see a new item is added to the dictionary variable and it is added at the end that you have to remember one more example now I want to update an existing value how to do that same way car dot update in the curly braces key is color I want to change the color let me change to black print and see the output the blue value is updated to black this is how we will update it the third example we will be in a scenario like i want to update multiple keys and values this is the perfect example for update method to do that car update in previous example we gave within the curly braces because 
it is single value but if you want to give multiple key and values the syntax is different cost is an key the cost value is I'll put some sixty thousand dollar then color equal to give the value as blue now these two value will be updated to this particular dictionary variable printing after updation just executed the updated dictionary variable is cost and color is added the conclusion here is if you want to add a single key the syntax is within the curly braces we have to give key and value if you want to add multiple keys then you have to use the equal to symbol this is the exact usage of update method next method from keys we will be in a scenario like i want to update common value to all the keys available in the dictionary variable if that is a requirement then from keys is the best method how to do that the syntax is dict it's a keyword dot press the tab here choose from keys from keys is a method inside the from keys we have to pass two parameter first parameter is a sequence second parameter is a value what is the sequence here the sequence is my keys my keys comma the value is ovals ovals inside the from keys you have to pass the sequence and value just run it now the value ovals is added to all the keys available inside this dictionary variable and it's displayed here and it is not in ascending or descending order when you execute this sequence will be keep on changing now we'll see the theory part this method creates a new dictionary from a given sequence of elements this is a sequence of elements with a value provided by a user here i provide a value ovals and the parameter is two parameter one is sequence comma and the second one is value the next method is set default method for example we know very well when we try to access a particular key if the value is not present we will get the key error how to avoid this the simple solution is you have to give a default value let's consider we have a dictionary variable employee and the name is muthu it is an item and the value is muthu every employee will have a dictionary variable salary i want to make the salary as a default value the syntax is employee dot tab set default salary salary is the item we will try to print out the updated dictionary variable just run it automatically this will assign a non default value to the salary key in addition to this we can also provide the default value employee dot set default within this the key is company and the value is google printing the output you can see to this particular dictionary variable the item company and its value google is made it as default next method is dir method it is a directory if you want to find what are all the list of all the available methods and attributes for your particular dictionary variable you can use dir method print just mention dir inside that dir pass the dictionary variable run it these are all the list of available methods and attribute for this particular dictionary variable we have already seen from keys get item pop item set default and so on the next topic is dictionary comprehension dictionary comprehension means i want to code it in a elegant and concise way okay let's write a program i want to find the cube of each number for a range this can be written in just single line it's a dictionary so curly braces key for the key what is the value if the key is 1 1 cube is 1 2 cube is 8 it's like x star star 3 it is x power 3 for x in range 10 just run it you can see for 0 cube it is 0 1 cube it is 1 and so on till 9 a very big 
program can be written in a single piece of code also using dictionary comprehension but only drawback is advanced users alone can understand this line of code if someone is new to programming for them this line will be little bit complicated to understand the logic one more example we have a requirement like we have a list contains fruits like mango apple banana my requirement is i want to create a dictionary variable from this list and also display what is the length of each item we are going to create a dictionary so curly braces key it can be any variable name for better understanding i am mentioning it as a key colon len of key len of each key now we have to do the iteration so use the for loop for key in fruits execute we got the expected output the length of apple is 5 mango is 5 banana is 6 this is how we have to use the list comprehension that's the end of dictionary video series for reference you can visit this url it will be also mentioned in the video description thanks for watching happy learning